Hey, so what, uh, what are we doing out here today, man? Um, so we've been shooting now. This film called Silencium Day. And um, this film, what is the film about? And, uh, we have this very heavy tension built in the movie. And then um, I want them to be curious. Where are we going with this? Where are we taking them? Although the film is very complex, I would say like the film is not a straightforward film. It's a bunch of abstract moments. But this is how we see man. This is how we generally like to see man. It's a one shot. It's a, um, that's the reason. Like we have like 33 people here with us in uh, in Los Gatos, California, and um, we're shooting on uh, Red Epic. We borrowed the camera. We have no money. <laughs> we have no money for this film. Everybody's for free. Um, friends. The, the actors are directors, mainly filmmakers. So, um, yeah, that's, no, it's coming together at all. So, so how is the camera team been getting this done? I mean, you know, one... like we work in uh, Steven Burke, DP, uh, Alyssa Moran. We have a female uh, dolly operator. I think it's very important to highlight that because the, the film moves like a, like a big waltz and then on this long dolly track. And then I really wanted somebody who's very gentle with the dolly. And we have an amazing AC, Chris Hebert. And uh, I would say the team is great. I'm not worried. I, I, unfortunately, the, the, the director monitor went down the first day. So I haven't seen any footage yet. So I'm trying to be within, with the actors, you know. And um, again, uh, it's very interesting. I mean. So, how do you feel about this film so far? I think, well, I just got to see. Yours and Brandon's shot, and it looked fucking amazing, so. I feel pretty confident about this one. Good. The real question for me is I wonder how it's gonna sound. <laughs> that was a good question. What was that? Uh, how was it working with animals? Yeah, the white horse um, went totally crazy. Uh, the saddle was loose, and why Mache, the actor, was leading the horse. The, the saddle started to slide down and then the horse feels threatened once the saddle slides under the horse so the horse started to spin around the actor almost ran into the camera team and I think that was the moment when I thought like you know this is the end of the movie and um, the actor wanted to quit and, uh, but somehow we went you know on and, and like can you just say the horse was just spinning and spinning and spinning yeah they, they, this horse was just spinning and spinning around like you know and and we have it on, 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 on camera. Uh, Everybody's like doing short. You can do all the strong dance moves. William, you do strong dance moves now. You know, it's not bullshitting anymore. You know, it's like we really want to see you like this doing it. If you were to say this film came from some type of era or has some any any inspiration, where would this where would you say that this film got it from? You know, it's uh, definitely the aesthetics and the style uh, roots in Hungarian cinema. Um, it's not easy in California, you know, like you know, interpret that and, and, and explain it to people who probably have never seen Hungarian movies. But um, but we try and then uh, we'll see what happens. Alright, okay. good.